Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at Wanger flange construction versus beveled frame construction. Uh, it's not a, a winner loser type thing. It's the some one will be better at some things than the other, and vice versa. So this is basically just a um, comparison of the two different build methods with the advantages and disadvantages of each. For this comparison. We're going to use a two frequency dome this is it it's a something that will go up to a medium size this is about mm, the biggest you could get with that maybe you could go a touch bigger uh, but it's about five and a half meters uh, which is about i believe about 16 17 feet so let's start with the bevel frame uh, the, i sell plans for this type of design on my website <clears throat> and this one is probably uh, the uh, most well-known and uh, popular ways to build a dome on the internet just at the minute basically it's a panelized system uh, you build the triangle frames lots of triangle frames uh, and then you cover them um, you do like a partial join together and then you cover them so everything's covered uh, off-site off-site in the workshop and then you build it all in the one in the one day so they all insert like that uh, Wanga Frange is more the hub and strut type um, construction uh, let me just have a look at that so instead of having uh, individual frames you have lengths of strut strut lengths and the wanger flange forms the joint um, in the middle again that can be covered um, both of them can be covered uh, let's go back to this one and this one that's the bevel frame detail. Uh, the the timbers go right the way into the vertex, so you don't get any. You don't get that little space in the middle. And we'll just put set that one back to the beginning. So you can achieve exactly the same thing, but this video will sort of quickly lay out what the advantages of one method are over the other so you can maybe better decide which method would work for you right here we go okay uh, first off let's have a look at uh, all the advantages that the wanger flange has over the um, beveled frame and then we'll do the disadvantages later right first off there's no need to build a jig the bevel frame uses a jig to set all the frames against on a wanger flange you just need to cut the strut material to length so there's no need to build a jig and there's no need to cut the bevel angle down the side of the timber now the bevel angle is quite a longish job you can spend like a day cutting that bevel angle um you don't need to do that at all with with the wanger flange you just take any strut material and cut it to the length that's required, fit the wanger flanges, and you're good to assemble. So it's uh, much quicker in the preparation. The other advantage is that you can use any um, strut material. You could use T-section uh, metal, uh, tubing obviously, um, timber, um, and, a and pretty much anything you want. Uh, whereas bevel frame is, it's pretty much set just a timber okay uh, next up um it's a bit easier to take a wanger flange dome down than it is a bevel frame one the bevel frame is the there's a lots of screws down each edge um and one you can you can put put it together and you can take a bevel frame apart but it's much quicker uh, and a, a bevel frame will pack down to panel sizes and if you've done three panels if you've covered three panels in a in a row then that's the smallest you can break it down to so uh, a wanger flange you can break totally flat down into like tents uh, right the way down to the just a pile of sticks uh, and the bevel frame it, it breaks down into sections and it's not quite as easy to break it down and put it back together repeatedly because it probably the screws it maybe um, wear the wood a wee bit uh, okay, next up with the wanger flanges. Uh, if not everybody's domes, they want to keep them forever. Um, with the wanger flange, you can recycle the joints 
um, and make a another dome a different dome or even a totally different structure so the recyclability if you build a two frequency dome for example with bevel frame it is a two frequency dome it'll never be anything else if you're finished with it you've basically got to throw it away with a wanger flange you can take it apart and use the same strut material even if you have to cut it into different lengths yeah, to make something totally different. So you could make a totally different structure out of it. So it's recyclability is a little wee bit better. Um, I don't recommend that you go with high frequency domes, uh, four, five, six frequency with wanger flanges, especially in a single skin because it puts huge stress on the joint. However, you can build four, five, six frequency domes, no problem, but you have to do a double space frame truss type um, construction now you can do that with wanger flanges that, that that's a breeze you will need a lot of them but that can be done so you can actually build bigger domes than you can with the bevel frame but the bevel frame probably is better for medium sized domes and uh, probably the last thing with the wanger flanges you don't need machinery uh, you're not going to need a um, table saw um you could probably get away yeah, you could probably get away with a drill driver and a hand saw let me uh, run through the disadvantages they're more expensive the bevel frame method is probably the most cost effective neatest way to build a dome available now um apart aside from using needing some machinery and a little bit of carpentry skills um, it's probably the most cost effective way to do it. So the a wanger flange build will definitely be more expensive. Uh, let's take this the two this two frequency example. Um, there there are about two hundred and forty wanger flanges in that build, which is going to cost you five or six hundred pounds just for the wanger flanges. Add on a couple of hundred for your timbers, um, and it, you know the the costs going up. By the time you put a cover on uh, and you put some insulation in, you do a bit of uh, groundwork, it's, the wanger flanges aren't the major, you know, they're not a major cost, they're not a ridiculously expensive or anything, but they're a bit more than the, the, the cost more than the bevel frame. So if, if cost is a big issue to you, maybe you want to avoid wanger flanges. Okay, next next up, and I get this asked this all the time, is how do you cover the, uh, a wanger flange built dome? Uh, I'm going to do a video specifically about covering, uh, but I'll just um, skip over this one. It's slightly more difficult to cover a wanger flange dome than it is a bevel frame. You can cover the, you can cover a bevel frame dome in your workshop, heat your workshop up, get the temperature up. You need it to be warm, you see. Uh, do it in the workshop in comfort and then take it out on the site and build it. With a wanger flange, you have to build the frame and then you have to cover it on site. Um, I will show you all of the different ways to cover in the next video I do, but it is a little bit, you can take it that it's a little bit more awkward to cover than a bevel frame. Uh, the other thing is, it's not super easy to put windows in. Uh, it, again, it's all, the, all of these things are totally possible. In the next video, which I show about covering wanger flange domes, I'll deal with windows, but it, they're not as easy. Uh, it's, I mean, in the bevel frame, it's super easy. You just take a frame and turn it upside down and you've got a window, it's super easy. Uh, so it's not quite as easy as that with wanger flanges. Uh, again, with higher frequencies, four, five, six domes, like I mentioned, um, the, uh, there is a lot of strain on the, it does, they don't really suit um, higher, fre higher frequency domes on a single skin. They're great if you use a double space frame skin, but they're not very good with higher frequencies. I don't recommend going above three frequency if you're just using a single skin. Uh, there, are, there are some caveats to that. You can, the cover material, if you cover with plywood, that adds strength, etc, etc. But as a rule, two frequency, fine. Three, three frequency, that's about your limit. Four frequency, single skin, I probably wouldn't do with wanger flanges, uh, unless you're going to do that with a... Um, space frame truss okay nearly the last one now 
assembling is a little bit more fiddly than a bevel frame when you, when i build the bevel frame domes you um nip the, the frames together screw them together go build it round in a circle and it and they'll all hold themselves up then you build the next ring that'll hold itself up you build the next ring that'll hold itself up with um wanger flanges they flop all over the place uh, so you you end up having to prop things up and on a large build that can be a bit of an issue uh, not such a, so much of an issue on a small dome but on a large build it, it can be that they flop about and if they're not supported theoretically you could bend some of the wanger flanges but once it's the last strut goes in it becomes solid but it's up until the last strut goes in it's um, it's more floppy than the uh, a bevel frame dome uh, the other thing about the wanga flange is although you can uh, disassemble them and the pack down and you get them in the back of a van i would say, i would recommend a wanga flange structure if you want to use it as a temporary structure or a tented structure or a, a exhibition stands or something that you're going to put up and take down uh, and it's covered with canvas or something that's um that will come off the frame uh, that's good with wanger flanges but if you build uh, like a greenhouse say you could do a double skin greenhouse uh, it becomes permanent because the um, covering is fixed to the frame and you can't really take it apart without um, ruining the cover the only way you can take it apart and make best advantage of a wanger flange structure is to uh, have a tented type structure where you chuck the, the cover over after okay i hope that helps you make your mind up about which system would uh, work best for your project okay we'll leave it at that one next one is covering with um covering the wanger flange structure with lots of different things uh, keep an eye out for that and i'll see you in the next one